For this lesson, let's start with a simple demo to learn how you can insert data into a ClickHouse table that already exists in a Postgres table. As you can see here, we have Postgres running in a Docker container on our local machine, and we're connected to it using PSQL. Looking at the tables, you'll notice that there's a table named Orders, which currently has three rows in it. The table itself consists of six columns. Now let's create a table in ClickHouse that matches the columns of the table in Postgres. Notice that here, we're using data types like UN32, date time, and string. We've also decided to use ID and then order date as the primary key. So now we have the table in ClickHouse. Let's go back to our terminal and run a tool called ClickHouse Local. To run ClickHouse Local, you need the ClickHouse binary, which you can see we have in our current directory. You can download the ClickHouse binary with a simple command that can be found on the Quick Start page of the docs. It's the same command for either Linux or Mac. And there are also instructions for Windows users. You can simply copy it, and that curl command will download the appropriate binary for your system. ClickHouse Local does not connect to a ClickHouse database, but it does provide you with many of the features. To get the data from Postgres into ClickHouse, we'll use the remote secure function of ClickHouse. And here's what the command looks like. So insert into is going to send the data to ClickHouse. Notice that we have the server name of our ClickHouse service. Default is our ClickHouse database. Orders is the table in ClickHouse that we just created. And the second default is the username of our cloud database, and that's our password. Now, let's take a look at what we're inserting into the orders table. We're going to select star from the Postgres table, and the Postgres SQL function reads from our Postgres instance. Notice here that it's running on localhost. Postgres and orders is the database and table name in the Postgres instance, and Postgres and password are the credentials. There are only three rows in the Postgres table so it doesn't take very long. As you can see, the data from the Postgres database was successfully inserted into the table in ClickHouse Cloud. If we go back over to ClickHouse Cloud and select star from orders, we should see the three rows.